What is up guys, Morton here from SteamFirst.com with a review for Jet Car Stunts, a racing game developed by Grip Digital and released May 1st, 2014 on Steam for $10. Racing games are a pretty wide genre, from things like NASCAR games that are just racing simulators, to Need for Speed which has you racing around the city completing missions, and then there's games like Jet Car Stunts where you race around a track and compete with your own times with no real objective other than to go faster than you did before. I should also mention that Jet Car Stunts was originally a mobile phone app that got ported to PC. There are three game modes in Jet Car Stunts, there's a platforming mode with 25 stages where you just try to complete the course without crashing more than 10 times. There's a time trial mode with 11 stages where you try to complete each course as fast as possible, and there's a collector mode with 8 stages where you try to collect all 5 stars and then complete the stage. The modes have a fair amount of variety and all of the courses are different so that's nice, but it all feels very similar. The courses labeled very easy, easy, and even medium are really kind of boring because of just how easy they really are, but you have to complete them to move on to the next difficulty. Luckily, none of the courses take very long, but it's still pretty boring until you get to the more difficult level. It would also be nice if things controlled better. When you're just driving, it's fine, but when you go off jumps, you have the ability to control the car in midair, and maybe it's just a keyboard-mouse problem, but it's not responsive at all, and it's incredibly hard to control in midair. Now, obviously, I wouldn't expect a car to behave flawlessly while flying around, but it's still pretty terrible. Spacebar gives you a boost, and left alt is air brakes, which look awesome, by the way, but when it comes to moving around, it's really not very easy. Honestly though, the times where I had the most fun were when I would crash into something in midair, spiral out of control, be unable to see what's even going on, but still manage to land properly where I needed to be and continue forward like nothing ever happened. Those moments were pretty few and far between, but they were hilarious and definitely one of my favorite parts. The gameplay gets a 3 out of 5. It's pretty fun for a while, but because you never race against other people in any of the modes, it gets kind of repetitive. There are a fairly large number of courses, but over half of them are so easy that you wouldn't want to play them more than once or twice, which really limits how many courses you can actually spend time on. On top of that, controlling yourself in the air is just a nightmare. But the game modes are pretty fun, and the higher difficulties can get really challenging. Visually, the game looks like a mobile game with higher resolutions, but it certainly doesn't look bad. The car and track and everything look fine, they just aren't anything amazing. What is amazing is the landscapes beyond the track, as you plummet to the ground after missing a jump. All of the backgrounds look awesome, like I was genuinely surprised the first time I saw it. Graphics get a 4 out of 5, the courses and all that are alright, but the backgrounds are truly great. Unfortunately, while the visuals are good, the sounds are somewhat lacking. The title screen has some pretty cool music, and the sound effects are good for what they are. Everything sounds completely generic, but cars only make one sound, so that's kind of to be expected. But it's lacking because the music from the title screen doesn't play during the game itself. So while you're driving around crashing into things, all you hear is the car sounds, and it's just kind of dull. I see no reason why they couldn't have put the music in during the races themselves. I mean, it seems like a logical thing to do. Sound gets a 2.5 out of 5. It's not bad, and the sound effects are realistic enough, but it's generic and boring during races because all you hear is the same handful of sound effects over and over and over while you're driving. As for replayability, as you can imagine, there's a fair amount. You can replay levels to compete with your own time and try to get a gold medal on every course, which will probably take a fair amount of time. Oddly enough, there's only a handful of achievements, which I thought was weird because they easily could have had a lot more than they do. As for if the replayability is fun, that's pretty much up to you. How long can you sit playing the same course over and over? Personally, not very long. I think that this would be perfect for a handheld game, which is what it was originally. Something you play because you can't do anything else because you're in a car or whatever. But when I'm at home, on my computer, I could play any number of games, and replaying the same course for the hundredth time to improve my score by a second probably won't be very high on the list of things I want to do. If they had added multiplayer where you actually race against other people, then this would have been significantly more fun, especially given the type of game it is. Just imagining 6 plus people all racing on this relatively narrow course, flying through the air, it just strikes me as something that would be very fun. Without it though, it's going to get repetitive and boring after a while, and since there are only a handful of achievements, there's not really any incentive to continue playing after you beat all the courses once, or twice, or get gold, or whatever your objective is. Replayability gets a 3 out of 5, it's there if you're really into this game, or really bored, but for the average person, there's not really any reason to play this game other than to see all the courses and play them a couple times. You'll notice I haven't mentioned story, but as you can probably guess from the fact that this is a mobile racing game, it doesn't have a story. This isn't really bad, it doesn't take away from the game, I just wanted to point it out so that we were all on the same page. Overall, Jet Car Stunts gets a 3 out of 5. It certainly isn't bad, and there's a fair deal to like about it, such as the nice graphics and the course design, but there's a fair deal to dislike too, the lack of any music playing during races, the awkward mid-air controls, the lack of multiplayer. It's very obviously a mobile game, and it is fun for a while, but if you're not really into the genre, you'll probably get bored with it and move on rather quickly. 